Hello, sweet friends. Sweet Satori tribe. Sensei Tristan here. Flying solo tonight. Sabrina sends her love. This is the Trisbrina show. Taking a little bit different uh, vibe for tonight. We're not uh, dancing this one in. We're flowing this one in. Hope you're enjoying the cool flowing water. Uh, it's been a little bit crazy here in Austin. Past few days, so many people are getting sick and uh, are struggling with this new strain. So uh, my beautiful bride is out helping some folks right now, uh, helping some family members and doing her part to, um, to serve and help. And uh, I'm here and I apologize that we didn't have time to do like a big preparatory for tonight. We weren't sure if we were even gonna be able to have the show, but I was able to get back home in time to fire up the camera and join you for some movement arts. And so I was just wondering if that felt like something that would be good for you. It's something that I'm feeling really drawn to right now because of so many friends that are currently sick. Um, I wanna keep my immune system really, really strong. So one of the things that I do is I tap, I bounce, I squeeze, I shake, and I flow. <laughs> and I'm talking about the beautiful art of Qigong. So what I thought I'd do today is do a freestyle Qigong session for about 20 or 30 minutes and I'll show you what I do just to keep keep my body healthy, to keep my immune system strong, to work with my breath, to get the channels, uh, the energy channels open and flowing. And um, I just, you know, it's not planned. This is what I do every single day. I do something to take care of this body temple. Uh, a lot of times I'm teaching my students things like this. And so today this is just a open to the public session if you are, um, Part of Satori Method and you got notified. Great, I see you. Hi, Radhika. Uh, nobody knows about this session, really. We did not broadcast it. We did not tell our email list. It's just happening uh, organically. So share this with your friends if you like it, and we'll leave it up for a while and see what happens, okay? So here we go. Things to boost your immune system and respiratory system. Like I said, this is gonna be freestyle. I will tell you this, though. Uh, and since you're here, Radhika, let me know that this microphone sounds good. I'm switching to this one. We've got a really cool event coming up soon called the Five Day Energy Detox and Reboot event. And it's uh, starting in January, in the new year, uh, January 18th. We're going to do five days of stuff like what I'm about to do right now. And uh, it's significant work because I don't know about you, but <clears throat> I love feeling great. I mean, who doesn't? I love that my body feels open. I love that I feel strong. I love that I have a healthy immune system that's able to handle a lot of the craziness that's going on. I love that I sleep like a baby at night. I love that I know what to do to correct my body when it's hurting. Um, and all these things happen from this gentle, beautiful art, Qigong. So, this is what I'm gonna share with you today. Thank you, Radhika, for the feedback. She says the mic is very clear. All right, so here we go. This is the beginning of tonight's free training, about 20, 30 minutes of ageless mobility, Qigong, and breath work. So just starting, opening up here, just getting present to the moment, feeling my awareness dropping down into my breath, deep diaphragmatic belly breaths, in through the nose, out through the mouth really get into it kind of make it physical breathing in nice and strong fill the body and breathing out let's go one more time nice deep deep breath here we go all the way in and on the exhale pull your belly button all the way in towards your spine and lift it up slightly get all that stale air out and just start bouncing a little bit and shaking your arms like this okay so you're just bouncing up and down one of the best things you can do for your immune system to stimulate it and get that lymphatic fluid flowing. So you're just thrusting your arms down and bouncing spring loaded through your knees. I'm going to try to keep this frisky so that you have a good time here doing this. All right, so we're bouncing. Now we're going to bounce a little bit faster, 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 and start the breathing in the upper, um, upper belly. Shake it out. Just notice how you feel. That's called dragon's breath. It's right around the solar plexus. It's not the deep diaphragmatic breaths. It's right in here. It's in and out through the nose quickly. 
There's a little bit of physical movement to get it going. And then at the end, when you drop, drop your heel. Stimulates the kidney adrenals and you're boom, drop in and relax your muscles, kind of shake free and just listen and feel the buzz that starts to happen in your body. Ready? Here we go. And drop those heels and check it out. See how you feel. How about that belly breathing that we started the session with? It should be starting to feel a little bit more expansive. Breathing in, breathing out. Awesome. All right, bring your feet together. Squeeze your whole body. Pull your hands in. Breathe in. Now bleed out the breath. Listen. And shake. So I'll explain what we're doing here. You're creating like a tourniquet. All the muscles, your core, your booty, your legs, your forearms, your face, everything, even your toes. You're squeezing all the tissues. You're tightening around those vessels, including the energy channels. Then as you release, it creates this tourniquet release flush and all the blood, the lymph, and the chi moves through your body. You've got to bleed the breath off when you're doing it so you don't increase your blood pressure too much. You're squeezing and and flow your arms down like that and at the end shake it out like this okay here we go ready breathing in and come on really squeeze tell you what that does that gets rid of tension and stress and energy that's been bound up maybe you've been, been feeling a little bit emotionally weird and you're like i need to squeeze something or somebody yes yeah, squeeze your muscles let's go one more time this time arms are going out to the side we flex at the end and then let them float down here we go breathing in If you get dizzy, please sit down. That does create a lot of dynamic pressure inside your body, but it feels pretty good. So now you flow, breathing in, breathing out. Keep going, breathing in, breathing out. Okay, give us a little bit of frisky music here. Up we go. Down, up, down, up, down, one more, breathe in, breathe out. We're going to get into our legs and hips, side to side, just flowing your arms, there you go, enjoy the flow, little midday snack, huh, midday movement snack for some of us. All right, check this out. We're gonna go down, make a big circle, and try to get into your hips. Push your knees out so they're over your feet. Breathe in and stretch your ribs, and just feel the sense of flow. Strong in your legs, long through your spine. We're gonna go the other direction, down and up. Here we go. Open those shoulders, get that breath flow. Now breathe. Two more. Check this one out. Open and stretch your chest. Reach your arms up. Feel your lungs and flow down. Strong legs. Up. Arch a little. Float. Again. This is freestyle. Welcome to the party. Move your body. All right, check this out right here. Some teacups. These are good for stretching the chest, opening the ribs, and they're awesome for the shoulders, elbows, and wrists. Some of my favorite moves right here. Now arch back a little bit more. Lean forward a little bit. And back. And forward. One more. Keep the breath flowing and moving and into Tai Chi arms. Look for symmetry in your movements as you sit. Try to keep your feet mostly forwards. They can flare out a little bit to the sides, it's fine. Keep the knees over the ankles. You don't have to sit down super low. You could just do a little bit of a bend. Just don't break the spine, meaning don't bend forward. Sit your booty down. Relax your tummy. Shoulders slightly rounded at the top. Here we go. 
This is quick. This is not slow Qigong today. Frisky, like I said. All right, cool. Now, check out this next move. I'm glad you guys are liking the new mic. I've got it turned up quite a bit so you can really hear. Okay, this one's compression breathing. Remember I said we were gonna do some stuff for the immune system, some of the bouncing and breathing. <clears throat> Two of the only ways to really get your lymphatic system, meaning the lymph fluids to flow, to help detoxify, to help the immune system stay strong, is through good breath, expanding that chest, getting that kind of chest pumping motion and diaphragmatic breath. That is one of the best ways and the other is through movement and these bouncing moves and stretching moves are so good for the immune. Okay, the other thing is to have healthy lungs. We need these lungs, these tissues to stay clean and open. So we're gonna do a movement and a, and a breathing that's called compression breathing. We've shared this in the past. This is so helpful, especially during these times where the chest and the respiratory system gets challenged by some of the things going on. <gasps> it's a sound like that. Hello, beautiful Sabrina. Hi, hi, hi. Eyes on the road, darling. Okay, so <gasps> as the arms come across, they create a little bit of compression, a little bit of squeezing, kind of like when we squeeze the tissues early, they squeeze the muscles in the chest cavity around the lungs, which are like sponges. And so we're gonna be squeezing the sponges, cleaning them out, purifying them, and keeping them healthy, okay? So we cross the arms like that, we drop the body down. So the muscles, the movement, and the arms, they all go whoosh. And then we fill back up, whoosh, and we fill back up. We're gonna start slow, then we'll end up fast. Work at your level, so watch. That's slow, breathe in, fill up. So you see how that goes? This compression here, the arms, the weight dropping down, and the breath comes out the mouth, but you will feel a cleansing behind your sternum in the lung area. And flow. Take a moment, take a breath. Now that will create a little bit of friction. It will warm up and you might even hear some crackling and get some gunk out. You might have some phlegm come to the surface. Get it out of your system, spit it out. We're gonna do one more. Again, work your level. If you feel dizzy, please sit down. Do the movements carefully and slowly. There it is. Breathe in and slow down. Check this out. We're gonna pull the chi up through the central line. You have to visualize energy going up through the bottom, through the perineum, coming up through the center of the body, all the way up, up, up through your brain, out the top of your head, and then you're gonna use your hands. I know, it's getting a little out there, but <laughs> you can do this, it feels good. Pull the chi, the breath up, Breathe, if you can do this in one breath, wonderful. If you need to take two breaths, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, that's fine. Try to do it with one. Try again, straight spine, breathing in. Keep breathing, slow breath. If you need to do an inhale and exhale, that's fine, so you breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, until you can make it just one fluid breath. Breathing in, just slow it down, and breathe out. Okay, check this out, next move. Imagine energy going up your back, breathe in. Look at my hands, it's like you're holding a ball. Fingertips come up to the sky, you're pulling the energy up your spine and then you're floating it down the front. It's called spinning the orbit. Breathe it up. And out. So why do this? One of the most beautiful things about Qigong is it unlocks or unblocks channels that get disruptions, stagnant flow, 
And there are two very important channels in your body. The dume, which goes up your back, up your spine. So you visualize and you move your hands like this to help encourage that life force energy to go up the back. And you use the breath to guide it up. And then there's another one, the renme, that comes down the front. And together the two create something known as the microcosmic orbit. And when your energy is flowing in this healthy fashion, underneath, they connect, comes up your back, over the top of the head. These two channels connect actually right behind your two front teeth on the roof of your mouth. Anyway, when you get the chi flowing in the right direction, it creates more health, more vitality, more balance. We're energy beings in these physical bodies. This life force energy, not only is it all around us, it's inside us and it's animating life. So someone who practices Qigong regularly starts to feel the energy. It's electromagnetic energy. Like right now, I can feel it between my palms and I know that I'm helping, I'm encouraging the Qi to flow through my system, through these channels, these pathways, also known as meridians, I'm helping it flow in the correct direction and it feels like it's unblocked. So what does that bring? More clarity in the brain? You feel lit up. More peace in your tissues. Think about all of the craziness going on every single day. Our nervous system gets affected by it. We go into a highly aroused state. We trigger the survival instinct even more so. We get the stress gets into our tissues, gets into the organ systems. And when you're in an altered state, when you're out of homeostasis, things start to break down unless you recalibrate yourself back to homeostasis. So Qigong is one of the most powerful ways to bring your body back into balance, stimulating the immune system, like we've talked about the lymphatics through the bouncing and the breath work, as well as the respiratory system. We did some advanced breath work today with the compression breathing. We did some dragon breathing and deep diaphragmatic breath. And now we're completing our session with spinning the orbit. We're moving the Qi up the spine the way it should be moved and then back down the front. Now you may think, well, isn't my chi moving like that already? It might be. If you feel healthy, if you feel present and vibrant, then your energy is in a good flow. But we're not always feeling that way, are we? I certainly am not. And so I use these practices to quickly bring myself back into balance. And it's just a way of life. It's just what you do. It's a beautiful practice and it doesn't take a long time. You guys, let me know if this mic sounds okay. <sighs> so, like I said in the beginning of the show tonight, Sabrina couldn't be with me and I just felt compelled to just move a little bit with, with you guys that were able to be here and give you a, just a little taste, a little extra Qigong. It doesn't have to take a long time. How do you feel right now? Those of you who are joining me live, I see there's quite a few of you here and the sound is good. Thank you, my dear. You know, I already feel better. I feel actually like I want to go and lift weights now. <laughs> In fact, I think I will. I, um, I have had days where I felt like I'm dragging myself, right? And sometimes you just need to go and take a nap. Any nappers out there, any power nappers, don't deprive yourself from your naps. Sometimes, see, a nap is like Qigong practice. It's a way you rejuvenate yourself. Some people don't sleep very well. Hello, hello, Merry Christmas to you, Borneo, thank you. Sometimes you just need to take a good power nap. It doesn't take long and that's, it's its own energy work. It's putting your brain, think about what your brain's doing. Your brain has different brainwave frequencies. So meditators know this, that when they calm the mind by slowing their breath and getting the body to relax, they shift from beta, we call it the busy beta, and they get down into alpha and they can even go deeper like theta. You get these deep, powerful meditations. But when you 
shift past that theta, you go delta, you fall into sleep. And in delta, you can get this incredible rejuvenation. The problem is a lot of people toss and turn at night and they never really lock into delta. And so if you want to get good at sleeping and rejuvenating, do a little Qigong first, get your energy flowing. Even if you're a little bit tired, sometimes being a little bit tired and doing a little Qigong is like the best thing. It puts you in this kind of dreamy, dreary, like not dreary, <laughs> drowsy like state that when you lay down, you just drop right into Delta brainwaves and you sleep so good and you wake up feeling very rejuvenated. And there are other times that you lay down to sleep, but your energy system's off and you just feel fidgety, restless, and you can't drop into delta. So try doing a little bit of Qigong first, like do some of the squeezing and releasing we did, do some of the flowing, get that orbit going, then go and lay down and notice the difference. You just put in a little bit, a little bit of energy effort and notice the shift. And I think sometimes people just really do need more sleep. So something for you to play with. If you uh, wake up in the middle of the night and you're having trouble sleeping, if you have our good morning, good evening Qigong, go do a little bit of the evening Qigong with the hookups. Do a little bit of that, maybe a little bit of what I just showed you, the squeezing or releasing, get some of the stress and the tension out and get those brain waves slowing down so when you lay your head back on that pillow, you just drop right into Delta and you have the best night's sleep ever. Cool? All right. Well, there's just a little share that wanted to come through today. Thank you for joining. Uh, Sabrina, we'll see you next week. And those of you who are part of our Life Force School, we look forward to seeing you on Saturday morning for our um, Fitness Fusion. And if you want sleep gum, you got it. <laughs> if you want more of this type of training and you love uh, what we teach, the Qigong, the Ageless Mobility, the meditation techniques, please do consider joining us for the energy detox event in the new year in January, it kicks off January 18th. I don't have any links or anything just yet for you to register, but I will tell you we're giving away a free beginner's guide to Qigong. So we're giving a free course away. This all starts getting um, shared through social media and through our email list uh, in the beginning of the year. Okay, so a couple more days till Christmas here. Have an amazing rest of your holidays. So much love to you. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you in the next show. Much love.